all folks, hide your kids, hide your wives, because the homie Hex and the homie Optic Scump are suing Activision, though. Oh, yeah! Shit. And we're gonna be getting into the story. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, because apparently now we got, like, more information to the matter, and we're finding out, like, why they're suing, first of all, and Activision also did respond to the story, and they apparently said that, yeah, guys, uh, this is meritless, we are disappointed, <laughs> and they actually talked about their passport, their government name as well, so that's Bruh. another situation that's going on. Recently, you guys have been absolutely killing it, so I really, really appreciate all of you guys liking and subscribing, but roll it, check this out. people understand the clear picture that Hex and Scump are suing Activision Blizzard and Call of Duty for holding a monopoly on Call of Duty and the Call of Duty competition or competitive market. It's it's pretty big. It's yeah. pretty bold. Now, most importantly, though, for this video, we have a response from Activision, which would personally have me very scared. As according Dang to Charlie Int- Oh, shit! Oh, shit! It got you scared? Okay, I mean, yeah, you drink uh, Bud Light. Maybe you gotta stop drinking Bud Light. Maybe that's when you're not gonna be that scared, bro. Like Tell they have made this statement. Mr. Rodriguez, a.k.a. Optic Hex, and Mr. Abner, a.k.a. Scump, demanded Damn. that Activision pay them tens of millions of dollars to avoid this meritless... It wasn't even, like, tens of millions of dollars. It was, like, $680 million, right? Like, that is crazy. Bro, like, I'm having a hard time affording a bicycle out here. Can I really get, like, two pennies or something like that? Like the video if you also deserve to get, like, uh, more than, more than two pennies. Yeah, I'm gonna fight for your rights guys whenever in doubt call skizzle and i'll hit you up in the i'll try to make sure I, I get you your two pennies okay litigation and when their demands were not met they filed we will strongly defend against these claims which have no basis and in fact or in law we are disappointed that these members of the esports community would bring this suit which is disruptive to team owners players fans and partners who invested so much time and energy into the call of duty league's success that is bull squash bro like stop, stop the, cab. the cab bro now uh, to be honest so, like, anybody that want to sue Activision, I'm on your side, bro. Like, like, like I'm, on <laughs> I, I'm on your side, okay? You got my full support. Go get them, Tiger. Go get them, Kings. But uh, let's be real, man. We're talking about Activision. These suckers got more money than God. And right now, they're under the umbrella of Activision. Uh, uh, Microsoft, I should say. Trillion dollar company, man. Like, good luck with that. I, I don't know, man. Like, this this might be really, really bad for Scump at the end. Like, maybe they're gonna become homeless after that. I, I don't want to wish them any of that. But, but y you know what I mean, right? Like, Activision, they, these suckers are ruthless, bro. And a lot of people focusing on that last line, Call of Duty League success. Because a lot of people would not paint the picture of CDL as a success to be quite frank with all of you i don't think anyone is really holding it back at this point when you have yeah. teams paying 25 plus million dollars just to be able to play the game of call of duty and then have to pay yo imagine paying like 25 million dollars to play call of duty <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that sounds like really really bad and like retweeted uh, like on paper But obviously like these are pro teams So in, in order for their them to put their foot in the ground or in the door rather they gotta pay that much It's absolutely insane and then guess what they pay that much It's not a guarantee and if they are you know part of the team It's like actors and take I, I've, I've been hearing numbers 30% of the profits yeah. Right and they cannot say they cannot talk their mind. They cannot say their opinion optics Scum once said Call of Duty is bad and he got fined as well. Yeah, that is not, not even capping, okay? Like how the kids would say nowadays. That's like the reality right now. It's crazy, bro. And they decide who they want to, you know, sponsor and whatnot. So it's like, dude, just pay me free money at the end of the day. You know what? Be dumb. Pay me free money. That's like Activision right now to field a team in Call of Duty and now we're down to just 12 teams in Call of Duty and you make these 12 teams change their brand names in Call of Duty and there's no real fandom or brands to mostly attach to half the time unless it's you know your phase your optics or your really good teams in Call of Duty yeah. I think a lot of people have found out that they don't like a franchise system myself included and what? it's also become a lot easier. Yo! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Yo! Okay, maybe he's cutting down on some Bud Light recently. I like that. Your rare W for the homie. <laughs> Jake Lucky out here. Everybody, shout out to Jake Lucky. Shout out to Gamer Update. You know what I mean? Stocks up. Stocks huge. We love it, homie. Keep spitting gospel, man. And stop drinking Bud Light, okay? I know you've been still doing a little bit, so Easier to, that, to say over the last few years with Call of Duty League success. Maybe I'm biased. What do you guys think? Would you say CDL has been a success so far? The other part that I focus nah, on bro. is the fact... Okay, to be honest, though, like... Uh, as... 
They ruined Call of Duty big time, right? So in that aspect, yeah, it's uh, it's not a success. <laughs> it's a failure in that. But now, overall and objectively speaking, though, like Activision, just because they have the name uh, and because of their track record in the past, not like in the last few years. In the last few years, they have literally just dropped a massive deuce on their entire franchises, right? Like all of them, right? But yeah, the name sells, right? Call of Duty sells, the Call of Duty League is under that, right? So yeah, it's a success in terms of like making money and they make more money than God, like let's be real. But other than that, like it's going down the toilet. So I wouldn't call it a success, but if you're talking about Call of Duty as a whole financially and the sales it's making, yeah, in that aspect, it is a success, sadly. Activision sadly. Blizzard said they are strongly going to fight Hector Rodriguez and oh, right. Scump. Like, oh, right. it, I'll be honest, if I was them, I I mean, obviously going into this, you got to know the beast you're going up against, but yeah. I would be terrified. I would be utterly terrified for a third point that a lot of people are also harping on or focusing on. Man, like I, these things are going to get <laughs> like activation, bro. Like they're going to make these things homeless, bro. Like. I, I hope they win, but the chances are very slim. Like, anybody that wants to see Activision, listen, man, you got my support, okay? Even though, even though, even though, and you know this is a fact, like, Sigas get sued in America for farting, literally farting in the wrong direction, right? But hey, if you want to, like, sue Activision, go for it! I'm with you, but honest to God, though, like, they, they got all the money, they got the resources, they got lawyers, they got lawyers bigger than Saul Goodman, guys, like, let's be real, you cannot, you cannot fight against Activision, man, listen, I mean, think about this for a second, this is gonna make you sick as tank, okay, there was an employee, this, I'm talking about the California lawsuit, right, there was an employee at Activision that took her own life, right, because there was, like, drama between her and Bobby Kotick, Bobby Kotick threatened to, uh, no, that was, like, a different, okay, there were two, yo, okay, no, so, one employee Bobby Kotick threatened to kill and he did not okay so just wanna just wanna let you know so he threatened to kill allegedly that's the mention in the lawsuit right so that's number one number two there was an employee uh, that took her own life there was so much crap uh, that was going on at Activision and guess what at the end what happened what happened just take a guess right if you do not know the story Take a guess. What do you think happened? Did they lock Bobby Kotick? Did they uh, do some about it? Did they arrest some folks at Activision? Guess nothing of that happened. Uh, 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 as in terms of uh, our knowledge, right? Bobby Kotick leaves, not fired, leaves the company with 400 plus million dollars. Oh, yeah, that yeah, that's the corporate the corporate world. That's the corporate guys. America, America, if you coming to make my money in the way. On and one that I don't, I don't necessarily uh, agree with, but this is just my own personal beliefs. Oh, wow. All right, everyone's entitled to their opinion. As usual, we like to you know chip it up around here and talk different points. But people also curious because it is just hex and scump, and I'm yeah. gonna wrap in optic with them. But it's no other CDL teams. It was yeah. later confirmed going through this. If it was, I uh, woke up locked in today. I felt a disturbance in the force. A lawsuit against the CDL doesn't surprise me. But Hex and Scum going it alone rather than a class action with other teams does feels like a recipe for disaster. Activision are gonna bring out the lawyer Avengers. <laughs> They're gonna bring like ten Saul Goodman, dog, or twenty. First reported, maybe other CDL. 2.4k likes, god damn, man. Can a brother get two likes on the video, guys? Team owners, it's just them alone versus Activision Blizzard Holy and crap. all of Call of Duty. And some people out there saying, dang, would have loved to have some other teams come up and support yeah. this. And I'm like, I, I don't know if I would have done that if I was other teams. When I think of any team out there that actually has any proper... It's like one of those things, right? Like, <laughs> you're scared to enter a building. You're like, bro, you do it, man. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. And then you go inside, you look behind, those things are gone, though. Those, <laughs> those things are gone. It's like all talk, no bite. It's basically that kind of situation. But, but do you blame the people that pulled out, right? Like, I don't blame them. I mean, listen, like, they realize they probably made a calculated move to not go ahead and sue Activision because let's be real man like I would not be shocked if Hex and Scum turns out to be like homeless maybe they have set like stuff uh, uh, with taxes and incorporation this and that where they do not lose their 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 assets I hope so and I never want to wish that on any soul out there but dog we talking about Activision out here though you know what I mean? Like, the fact that they are suing Activision, holy crap. I mean, I hope they win. I, I hope they get the bread. I hope they get the bread. But, like, damn, like, you, you gotta know, like, who you're going against with, boy.
or against uh with yeah i guess for with leverage or financial ep economic Bruh. loss due to partaking in cdl i can maybe i, I would think of optic and then if, other than that I don't know if these other teams have lost out on much by partaking in CDL, right? They don't have as much going for them as Optic does with yeah. Call of Duty. It, it, like, what what do you guys think when I say? Yeah, I, I feel like that others uh, like other teams are not necessarily suing them because they don't even have that many stakes. That uh, they didn't even like you know break even or probably broke even or uh, they didn't lose much. Let's just say that, right? It feels like the Scump and Hex they probably lost a lot and therefore they're like, okay, I mean you know f that man. Like we ain't got no reason right now to live so might as well go all in right so maybe it's uh, I feel like that's their mentality right now hey there like when I think of optic gaming I think of scump and all of these big names and now the big watch party and a potential loss of revenue for some big sponsorships around their actual content they do with the league compared to most other teams who have yeah. no brand and have no presence to even sell against to begin with. And so True. what they're trying to argue, these monopolistic tendencies of the league around Call of Duty competitions, is they have economic hardship and financial loss due to even partaking in the league because the league is so heavily restricted to them from making money by any other means possible something that other players like octane have already attested to like them as players when they signed into the cdl it was almost according to octane worthless to pursue mm. other sponsorship or brand opportunities because cdl would shut them down that is part Damn. of optics argument Damn. and if any team out there has the leverage to say hey we lost out on money by partaking in this league I would think it would be it's like a lose-lose situation dog like uh, the partnering up with activision it's like you gotta spend millions and then they tell you what to do <laughs> they take 30 percent or how much I, I don't know i saw that number flying around on the internet that they take 30 percent like that is insane bro like holy crap i i want to wish these seconds are good good luck man take your right hand take your left hand send a prayer these seconds way like and subscribe click on this video on the screen because recently these seconds and twats dipshits got caught cheating in call of duty check it out and i'll see you right there